I think there's an issue that people aren't talking about with gay marriage. Uh, there's a lot of things that they, they beat around the bush with. Kurt Russell's stand against woke culture? Kurt Russell has transformed from an iconic actor to a vocal opponent of Hollywood's woke culture. Once celebrated for his blockbuster roles, he now finds himself at odds with the industry's prevailing narratives. His criticisms touch on various topics, including extreme plastic surgery, body positivity trends, and new gender labels, which he views as absurd concepts that belong in a fantasy world. As a self-identified libertarian, Russell questions why any group should receive advantages just because they enter into a marriage. He argues, I don't think married couples should get an advantage of any kind, emphasizing his belief in equal treatment for all individuals, regardless of their relationship status. This stance positions him against what he perceives as unfair preferential treatment based on personal choices. Russell's mission goes beyond mere criticism. I'm not a libertarian, so my beef with, with uh, advantages given to anybody because they happen to live together and have a, have a ring and have made it, had, had, had a ceremony, I don't think married couples should get an advantage of any kind. So my beef isn't with, as a pol political uh, uh, move, it's not, it's not with, with gay marriage, it's with why, why, why does anybody get an advantage over anybody else because they happen to live with somebody and have a family. I don't, I don't, I don't follow that. He aims to protect Hollywood from the influence of the woke movement. His rejection of woke narratives has led to fewer roles in recent years, as he deliberately distances himself from projects that align with these ideologies. He believes that many woke ideas are out of touch with reality and that advocates are lost in a fantasy. In his view, the entertainment industry should not be a place where actors and actresses are silenced for fear of backlash from social media or cancel culture. Russell believes that the freedom to express opinions is crucial and that the trend of silence among entertainers is damaging. He is ready to take on the role of a defender of free speech in Hollywood, encouraging others to speak out against the rising tide of woke ideas. You know, my, my personal feeling is that there's a big difference between fantasy land mm -hmm. and reality. Fantasy land is what we do. Um, it's, you're either writing something, writing a song, uh, writing a book, doing a movie, no, doing yeah. a television sure. show. That's, that's fantasy land. Mm -hmm. And that's where that stuff belongs. Russell's bravery to stand up against Hollywood's norms is commendable, especially considering the backlash faced by others who have challenged the status quo. He recognizes that speaking out often leads to severe repercussions, including potential cancellation from projects and loss of career opportunities. Reflecting on his experiences, Russell notes, a place like this can humiliate you. It can rip your life to pieces. Despite the risks, he remains unafraid to voice his opinions, demonstrating a remarkable level of courage in an industry that often values conformity over individuality. Moreover, Russell's intellectual capabilities set him apart in his fight against the woke movement. Behind his tough-guy persona lies a savvy individual, well-versed in history, politics, and philosophy. This knowledge allows him to articulate his viewpoints effectively, often leaving his opponents struggling to counter his arguments. As a strong advocate for gun rights and the Second Amendment, Russell's arguments against gun control resonate powerfully. He challenges the notion that gun control could change the mindset of terrorists, asserting, if you think gun control is going to change the terrorists' point of view, I think you're like out of your mind. His ability to express such views without resorting to insults adds to his credibility. A place like this can humiliate you, mm -hmm. and it can be, it can either, it can humiliate you, it can be humbling. I mean, it, it does rip your life to pieces does it? if you'll let it. Russell's critiques of woke culture extend beyond the surface. He believes that the ideology often seeks to restrict individuals to specific categories, enforcing conformity rather than promoting freedom. He contends that true freedom should allow for a diverse range of opinions and lifestyles, rather than confining individuals to a singular narrative. Throughout his career, Russell has faced numerous challenges due to his outspoken nature. He recalls moments when he felt ambushed by individuals with agendas, highlighting the tension present in discussions surrounding political issues among entertainers. His disdain for entertainers who engage in politics reflects his desire for a clear boundary between entertainment and political discourse. 
In various films, Russell has embodied the archetype of the anti-hero, a solitary figure with a strict moral code. This persona mirrors his off-screen character, where he refuses to shy away from confrontation and adheres to his principles. Hollywood may not have anticipated his evolution into an off-screen disruptor, but his legacy as a courageous actor is firmly established. As we consider the future of Hollywood and its evolving dynamics, one question remains. Will Kurt Russell's dedication to authenticity and independence continue to influence contemporary cinema? His journey prompts a broader discussion about the need for diverse voices in the industry and whether the current trajectory aligns with the ideals of freedom and expression. What are your thoughts? Do you believe Hollywood needs more voices like Kurt's? Or is the industry progressing in the right direction? Share your insights in the comments below. If you enjoyed this discussion, don't forget to like this post and subscribe for more conversations on significant topics that matter today. Sometimes you get uh, what you feel is uh, slightly ambushed by somebody who's really got an agenda, and that's sort of, I think, that's my opinion of what happened to me the other day. The last thing I like to watch is, is entertainers or actors uh, get political. It's just, it's just something I can't stand.